Hello, welcome back to the Weekly 90, where we walk you through the week that was in Canadian politics in about 90 seconds. Now, we all know if there's one thing Liberals love more than taxing you, it's avoiding hard work and dodging accountability. That's why we're not surprised they want to rewrite the rules of Parliament so the Liberals can take Fridays off. Their proposed changes would also mean that Justin himself only has to show up for question period once a week. Showing up for work less, dodging accountability more, all for the same pay, sounds like the same old Liberals. Speaking of which, a few weeks ago we told you about how the Liberals were abandoning some of the Canadian soldiers who put their lives on the line fighting ISIS. They are eliminating certain tax benefits that provide soldiers with $1,500 to $1,800 a month. Since then, we've fought for the restoration of those tax benefits, and I have good news. It's working. After weeks of pressure from the Conservatives, the Trudeau Liberals are backing down. Well, sort of. While some will see the benefits restored, others may not. We'll keep you posted on our fight to restore respect for our military. Now, on to a bit of housekeeping. First up, if you're planning on becoming a member of the Conservative Party so you can cast a ballot for the next leader, don't put it off any longer. Time is running out. You only have until March 28th. For all the information you need to become a member and cast your vote, go to conservative.ca. Sticking with the leadership race, we're into the home stretch now, which means Canadians only have one more chance to see our candidates take our stage all together for one final debate. This final debate will be held in Canada's largest city, Toronto. To get tickets and more details, visit our website. And Conservative leader Ron Ambrose celebrated her birthday on Wednesday. Over 5,000 people signed her birthday card and sent their best wishes, and she took the time to have a read through many of them. Happy birthday, Ronna. That's it for this week. Justin Trudeau is presenting a second budget next week, so check back then for all the juicy debt-ridden details.